Hey everybody and welcome to <laughs> Is it uh the moon? <laughs> My name is Simone and this is George and this is where we watch movies and television. Okay, um Evil Dead 2. Yes. Yeah, so everybody in the comments of the first one told us to get on this immediately because apparently yeah. it's even better. But confusingly, they described it as a remake sequel, a requel. So, oh god. Um, yeah, so I'm that's I'm very curious about that. C make. Uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> poster alone doesn't really tell much of what it could be because like the last one had you know the the woman clawing out of the ground and yeah, but this one it's just a skull with eyes looking at us it's there's something about it that's just like i don't like it is it that it's a human skull no the skull's fine <laughs> this, I'm, I'm more bothered by the eyes i would mm -hmm. rather no eyes in a skull <laughs> and it also says evil dead or evil dead 2 dead by dawn right which is kind of the story of the first one isn't it like they like survive till sunrise and then it ends with bruce Cam ash getting attacked by the camera essentially yeah oh my god right that's how it ended the sun came up and then the camera flew towards him it, it makes sense if it's a remake then it's the same thing again mm -hmm. but then how can it be a sequel i don't know we should just watch it and find out before i press play um if you're here please like and subscribe and click the bell and do the things hey thanks legend has it that it was written Ooh. by the dark one book of the dead oh lord it was written Ooh. long ago in the year 1300 AD, the book disappeared. I like that it's just like a story built on one thing inside a Lovecraft story, but not using any of Lovecraft's story, mm. you know what I mean? Yeah. It's just a Necronomicon, and then build a separate story out of it. Yeah, that's cool. So what's this place like? Ooh, that 80s audio. Uh, okay, so it's... So. They're going to a place in the mountains, and there's a bigger bridge. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and it's the same cabin. Is it the same cabin? Looks very, very similar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. That's so awkward. <laughs> oh. So, what do you think, kid? That's the same necklace that he gave. Mm-hmm. Linda, I think, right? Because shut up, Linda. <laughs> yeah. What if the people who own this place come home? They're not gonna come back. <laughs> Some champagne, huh, baby? Huh? <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> you know, champagne. <laughs> I can't do the eyebrow thing. Oh. Whoa. Hey. Whoa. The book's just like on the table. So he has like no... Okay, it's not like he has no memory of what happened. It's just you know, redo. Having journeyed there with my wife, oh. Henrietta, we stumbled upon something remarkable. My wife and I brought hmm. the book to this cabin, and I began the translations. Right. And inadvertently casted the spell. Hmm. It's through the recitation of the book's passages. Estrata. Right, Mantos. we're just getting right into it. Is it like the first movie condensed, or... And is that the remake part, I wonder? Hmm. Yeah, because they like... They found it underneath the house, yeah. and... Oh, okay, she's got it. No, the champagne! Linda! Bruce Campbell is really good at being campy in like a, a good way, like an entertaining mm -hmm. way. <laughs> oh, different makeup, that's for sure. A lot less clown-like. Yeah. The remake is essentially condensing the first movie into the first 10 minutes and then plot onwards. So that makes it a sequel remake. Yeah. This is like the Jesus. last scene. Oh, that's interesting. Like, it's like this is where the new story begins. Did Bruce Campbell actually have to do that? Like, face down in a puddle? Yeah. It's not that hard. Oh, shit. <laughs> huh. Like a werewolf zombie. A werebee. No. A zolf. <laughs> Zolf is good. <laughs> I like Zolf. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's not that huh. far away from the cabin. Yeah. It looked like he flew. Like, yeah. Ages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got a blood here from that blood. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa. Holy shit! 
Sam Raimi really likes to chase people with a camera. I mean, it works. It looks really good. This is the handheld camera that I like. Holy shit. Yeah, I like it. He could have just gone like over top of the vehicle, mm -hmm. but he went through it. And through it. Oh. That was a good, nice little cut. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, in the walls. Okay. It's... I'm cur I'm so curious, like, where is this going to go then? Because it's just him. Yeah. And he's already transforming the night before. Yeah, see, I like that too, because we have the previous movie to remember that, like, creepy lady under the floorboard there. Like, that's, that's really cool. Hi! Mm -hmm. Found the pages of the Book of the Dead. I haven't aged a day in 3,000 years. Wait, 3,000 years? Paper? <laughs> Magic Necronomicon paper. <laughs> What has he found in the Book of the Dead? The doorway to another world. If I found a book and realized that it was called the Book of the Dead, I would probably just leave it alone. I'd be like, oh, I, this is none of my business. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would assume if I see a book called the Book of the Dead, I would assume it's like a prayer book. Something you use at funerals or whatever. Like, right. Like a ledger? <laughs> sure, yeah. These are all the people who are dead. Yeah. I think it would be the... The, f <laughs> the skin face on the yeah. cover of the book that would that would make me go okay I don't want to touch that that, that too was... yeah I would never touch it uh, that is the creepiest door <laughs> um viewers I have a question what is the first instance used for like a cabin in the woods thing mm. for a horror movie right before it became a trope and at what point did it become a trope enough so that the movie cabin in the woods can be made you know <laughs> Didn't even get to tell Linda to shut up. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. Oh, oh shit. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh, this is so weird. Fantastic practical effects, though. Is it like claymation? Like stop motion? Like Yeah, it's definitely stop motion. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It looks really good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it was really funny. <laughs> Jesus. No, it's just Linda. <laughs> Did he hear it go? Ang, 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 ang. <laughs> <laughs> what happened there? <laughs> I don't know. Just... Oh. oh my god. <laughs> Her noises are too good. It sounds like the the creatures in um, Cloverfield. Oh my god! Like, <laughs> <laughs> this is too funny. This is just like he's just wrestling yeah. a like a head. <laughs> by well, I mean, people did tell us that the second one is funny, right? I think like a horror mm. comedy, and then the third one apparently is basically just comedy. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the like the thought of filming this and like there's just this one actor yeah. who's got a, a mannequin's head attached to his hand <laughs> freaking out. <laughs> you have your darling Linda soul. Chainsaw. <laughs> oh. Jesus. Oh. oh. Gross, gross, gross. This looks really freaking good. The eff just the practical effect of it. Yeah, this is crazy. It's really impressive. Ew. <laughs> please, Ash. Please don't hurt. Oh. I don't. <laughs> oh. See, I don't know Gave if that would work. Gave really quickly. <laughs> like, like yeah. she's already a decapitated head. Ew. Oh my god. Oh my god. There's something so charming about, like, little continuity stuff, like, he got sprayed in the face full of black blood, and then now it's the same three drip mm. on his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Would you choose a chainsaw or a shotgun? I don't know how to use a shotgun, so probably chainsaw, but if I know both, it would depend on how many bullets I have, how much fuel there is. <laughs> I always wanted a rocking chair, but now I mm. don't know. <laughs> Because what if it starts rocking on its own, and then I have to leave? <laughs> oh. Oh. 
whatever was in the rocking chair didn't seem like super aggressive. Yeah. Oh <gasps> shit. I don't think so. <laughs> well done. That looked really good. Uh, yeah. Whoa. I am loving the practical effects and camera tricks in this movie so far. Yeah, me too. Oh shit. Yeah, that's where he got oh, bit. Oh yeah. Uh... <laughs> She's making its own noises. Oh my god. Well done, Bruce Campbell. Seriously. <laughs> It's like the, the looking away and talking while his hand moves almost yeah. independently that really sells it. Totally. So the, the people who found the book, like the professor and his daughter, they're going to come back. Mm-hmm. Oh. This is actually their place. Oh, they're they can't, here. they can't get back because the bridge is out. Is this the road to the Nobi cabin? You ain't going there. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's got to be a road or something. Oh. Who's this? Ew. <laughs> there is a trail, but it'll cost you. You take my bags and you got a deal. <laughs> <laughs> so weird. Yeah, just wash it off. Wash the evil off. <laughs> oh, oh, holy shit. shit. Not quite evil dead, just his evil hand. <laughs> but the noise the hand makes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. It's, this is so, like, so many clever little things. Yeah. In this film. I love this shot too, like, the perspective of, like, the body moving forward. To, like, it's, yeah, there's mm -hmm. so much cool shit in this. <sighs> oh my god. Well, you know. The chainsaw was originally invented to go through bones at childbirth. That's so fucked. I hate that that's the invention of the chainsaw. I, I, it's so. Oh. <laughs> I hate humans. It was the best it can do with medical science at the time. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, he, he looked in the back and thought it was just the one bag. It's a huge trunk. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially, we have the hobbits, and that was Sam. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay. A farewell to arms. <laughs> That's too good. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I feel like he should tape a knife to that stump. <laughs> 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 Son of a- This is so silly. It's just man versus hand. Oh. What the- What?! <laughs> Whoa. Oh, that was cool. What?! What the f What? Everything is like... Possessed. <laughs> <laughs> and this is insanity, but I just, I can't help but notice how cool just like the production is. Did he just kill the people that... Because mm. Linda's for sure gone. She is sawed up. I mean, we, she's... Yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, his hand is moving on its own free will. Does it just require the head to live or can mm. every body part be on its own? Hey, don't forget to check out our Patreon for these exclusives, and our merch link is in the description box below. And now, back to the movie. Okay, it's not those people. Is it anything? <laughs> oh, she did get shot. Oh my god. Where are my parents? Oh, okay. She thinks that he killed them. Yeah. What if the thing sitting in the rocking chair was like her mom? Oh, that's a good call. Cause yeah, we only saw one shot of her and she was just sitting there, yeah. What's the room in there? Oh my God, he's gonna be the one under the, this time. <laughs> Black mouth son of a bitch. Oh my God. I feel like that was a real stunt. Like part of it, like the falling. 
A supposed to what? A dummy. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Okay, I was like, what is a fake stunt? And it's just nothing happened. <laughs> it's only been a few hours since I've translated and spoken aloud. Shh, listen up. This is my father's voice. No one was speaking. <laughs> God forgive me for what I have unleashed. Oh my myself. God. Henrietta is dead. I buried her in the cellar. Ah! What the hell was that? Somebody's down there with him. One's in my fridge cellar! <laughs> oh my god! There's something down there! Gross, oh, gross, it's so gross. bloated and lumpy. Stop shaking it! What are your soul? Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> oh no, is it gonna. She just punches it. Oh no! Oh, oh. oh. No. oh no! Oh my god, I almost. Oh my god. I almost just gagged. That was that gross. That was both gross and comical. <laughs> okay, so that woman swallowed the eyeball. Yeah, does that mean that her insides are now infected? I guess. That witch in the cellar is only part of it. Hey, that witch is my mom. <laughs> Mama's gonna buy you a diamond. <gasps> ah! I guess he got bit or scratched or some. I don't. Or it's just possession. Dead by dawn. Dead by dawn. Jesus. Dead by dawn. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess that rid gets rid of the boyfriend. That trail we came in here on just ain't there no more. Like the wood just swallowed her up. Time has stopped. Mm-hmm. Jesus. <laughs> Whoa, the distorted image. <laughs> we haven't seen her dad yet, right? Is it her dad mm, part of it? Yeah. Another really good door creak. Why? Whoa. Father? What? Your salvation lies there. Okay, Obi-Wan. Recite the passages. Dispel the evil. <laughs> You're holding my hand, Tick Tot. Oh no. It's gonna be another hand. Ah! Okay, so they need to read from the pages to cast Dispel Evil. <gasps> oh, oh my god, god, it's the tree again! No. No. Oh, oh my oh, god! <laughs> wow. Ew, it's like oh, in it's, her face. It's, Yeah, it's digging into her. So we can assume that she got squashed against that tree. Consumed, yeah. What's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like... <laughs> 1300 AD, they, he was prophesied to have destroyed the evil. Did you see that painting, that drawing? Hmm. He had like a button up shirt and like a, looked like a chainsaw in his hand. Is it just ash? It looked like it. The physical manifestation of this dark spirit can be forced back into the rift. I'm running this show now. Why? God. Your mumbo jumbo bullshit. No! Oh god, he's no. gonna burn it. I thought he was gonna burn it too. Oh, okay, good. <sighs> now move! This guy's too dumb to live. Hmm. Is she gonna be like a tree monster? Mother, go! And here we go. If he runs it, <laughs> oh, okay. Wow. Oh yeah, the dagger. It's a huge ass dagger. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> it's kind of funny that he's like, she, she stabbed him and he's in pain, and then she's like telling him to shut up. Yeah. And slam the door against his gut yeah. and then his. Okay, okay. 
Putting him right next to the cellar. Mm. Something's gonna come up. Yep, there it is. <laughs> oh no, there's- Oh my god! Oh. I was just about to say, yeah, there's like eating noises. <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> oh f***. He just has to remember who he is. <laughs> The only thing that's going through my head is, Simba, remember who you are. <laughs> <laughs> we need those pages. No Whoa. way. <laughs> that is awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the drawing, right? In the book? It's him with the chainsaw hand, maybe? It was definitely a blue shirt. I feel like yeah. it's, it's, it is and, him. And crop back hair like that. Okay, you, got, you just grab the pages and go. Just grab the pages and go. <laughs> Having a chainsaw for a hand really, like, your stealth is really bad. <laughs> 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 oh! That's what's left. Pages. <laughs> oh. Oh, <gasps> oh no. Ew. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> oh no, his shirt is ripped. <laughs> oh. Kind of looks like that thing Beetlejuice turned into. Yeah. Or if E.T. was on meth. Jesus. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh. Ew. Ew, it's neck farting. <laughs> Swallow this. <laughs> <laughs> It's not over though, she still has to read the pages. Holy shit! Get go read it! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh no! Oh my god! Oh, that head is so cool. Ah! Did she finish it? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Uh oh. Oh, the cabin got- Holy shit. How do you close the, the thing now? Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Where does it go? Oh. To where like all the evil things are? I guess. Whoa. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh. What did she say Is it was? Is time travel now? 1300 AD or whatever? So he becomes the one that breaks the evil in the past in the book. <laughs> Oh. I was not expecting that. I thought it was like one of the monsters that he sent through. <laughs> right, because they don't have <laughs> sawed off shotguns. In this but time. he's got like how many bullets? Hail he who has come from the skies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just like, I just want to go home. <laughs> And he's perfectly on a rock and everything. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, no, man. No, God, no. Why? No. <laughs> oh, that was so much fun. It was so fun and so creative. And so lucky for Ash that people spoke the exact same English back then. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I said it so many times already, but like, it, it's just...
the the practical effects are so impressive in this movie. Oh yeah, totally. Um, but it's still kept like you can tell obviously they had a higher budget, but it still kept that like passion project feel to it. I can feel like what you said at the beginning. That's like uh uh Sam Raimi like had a million other ideas. He just mm. couldn't do it because of yeah. budget constraints in the first movie. So now he's like, nah, let's just go all out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was so good. There's another one? Yeah, well, there's quite a few more. I think it's called Army of Darkness is the next one. Okay. Which kind of makes sense now, if it's just him stuck in the past. Yeah. How is he going to okay. get back? Like, he's going to have to find... Doesn't, right? Because otherwise, how would he become the prophecy, whatever, whatever, came to destroy evil? Which kind of... Well, he did. Because... He did, yeah, though. That's well, what, yeah. No, yeah, that's what I'm saying is that the, the book, mm. the pages describe a person who came from the sky or whatever to destroy evil. Right. Yeah. So that means it's already happened. So kind of like we already know what's going to happen by the end of the next movie. Right. It's that t- time travel paradox. Oh, uh, again. <laughs> uh, yeah. The paradox <laughs> shit can just right off <laughs> Bruce Campbell. Well done. And looking all ripped at the end there with his shirt. And that, yeah, arm. I love a good arm. <laughs> so apparently, uh, according to comments, Army of Darkness is the most comedy one. OK, yeah, I think that's, I think that's what they said. Yeah, that's exciting. I, I love yeah. a good comedy. I am curious. Is the movie going to address at all of how they would be able to speak to each other? I think you need to let that go. <laughs> no, because like, well, no, 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 I'm just saying I'm not saying that as in like, oh, is it realistic or not? But yeah, if if it's more comedic. That is mm. totally a comedy element. Oh, that's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does he just have to mime and draw everything for the whole movie? <laughs> no, I think because they're all like hail <laughs> and like then talking. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> well, the thing is, he didn't respond to them, so for all we know, that's just for oh. the movie, for the audience perspective, so we know what they're saying. Yeah, yeah. or they can just go the Monty Python round. Doesn't matter at all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that wraps up this episode of Cinebench. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. Yeah, we'd like to thank our patrons and yeah. uh, shout out to My Shark 419, uh, Mr. Hobita, uh, Movie Dan, Mike Adams, Michael Ritter, Michael Gunn, Matthew S., uh, Lorny23, Lenora, Kirk T., Kenny Wants Some Ice Cream, uh, mm. Joshua White, John Swan, Joe D. McGovern Stuff, uh, Jamonta the 33A, Jason, James Lee, Jacob Archer 70, AJ, Hyperdrive, How to Cook a Zombie Stan, Harold oh. Reichley for Turtle, Freeling 10 for the Horde, Eric <laughs> McDaniel, Eric Gray, Drew Atchison, Draco Argentum, and Dave Atchel. Thank you all very Woo! much. Thanks, everybody. See ya.